this is like two days after I finished putting the rice water in my hair. I kind of just wanted to do a quick braid out on the video so you can kind of see you know what your results should be. So the last time I went out shopping, I picked up this really good for your hair, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to use it on my fingers so I can take out the twist and a little oil. I decided that I should use natural lighting today. Not that I mind the light. It's just it's daytime so I can use this. just separating my hair um, really I don't care too much about the frizz I do like my hair to be really big and full looking so the frizz does add to the body so I just leave it I don't really try to get rid of it but if you don't like frizz what you could do is add product to the end of your hair maybe edge control or gel and that will help uh, define the curls and get the frizz to lay down flat all that I'm doing here is just picking up the braids and then separating them and make sure that your hands have enough coconut oil on them The real reason I use twist out is because it's a low manipulation style. I don't have to worry about getting heat damage or anything like that. It's really simple, really easy to do. All you gotta do is braid your hair the night before and take it out the morning after. The braids on my hair have been in for about two days, so uh, it hasn't been that long. Um, my wash day is soon approaching, uh, so in a couple days I'm going to do a wash day video so look out for that buns here if you want but I'm just gonna keep it super simple today and just like that got a pretty nice braid out after you put the rice water in your hair so simple so very easy to do and all you gotta do is know how to braid and unbraid your hair it's low maintenance no heat so your hair 
kangaroo. So I left my rice water out of the fridge for a bit and it's like fermenting. So once it ferments for like a day or two out of the fridge, you can just put it in the um, fridge after, but it smells, it smells real like fermented. <laughs> just like I was watching this video and she said it would smell, but I didn't realize how much, you know? Smells. I'm just gonna use that on my face. The smell will go away. Once it ferments out of the fridge for a few days, put it in the for, sorry, yeah, put it in the fridge after it's fermented. This is rice water for your skin. <laughs> Use a cotton ball to wipe your skin with it. It smells really bad, like it smells like fermented. Whatever fermented smells like. It smells more pungent than when I first made it. Not really, really bad, just like a bit sour. A bit and look at all this dirt off of my face. Can you see that? It's brown. <laughs> Maybe it's the rice water because the rice water is not like clearly clear. It's cloudy. Okay. I guess uh, that is all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out my Instagram page, Marlene Butte, M-A-R-L-E-N-E-B-U-T-E. -E. And I'll let you guys know if I see any changes after using the rice water. Make sure to store it in the fridge. I didn't remember to tell you that. I mean, cold rice water is really good for acne, so.